Hi, and welcome to the first episode of uh, what's going to be a Turkey Let's Play for the Hearts of Iron mod Black Ice, uh, Hearts of Iron 3. Never did get around to finishing my English game, uh, unfortunately. My game is the UK. I just had too much stuff to do over the summer. Uh, the game kept crashing when the war started, then Black Ice came out with another version, then Windows 10 came out, and... There's just, I mean, it, with it being incompatible now anyways, I couldn't even go back to it if I wanted to. Alright, let's get started with this one. I'm going to leave it on normal. Normally I'd set the difficulty up to hard. I guess that's what you're supposed to use with Black Ice if I was playing one of the major powers. But I've played a bunch of games of those. I've always kind of wanted to play as Turkey. I looked at them last night before I started this, just to have an idea of what they have. It's not very good. The worst thing is they don't have a lot of leaders. It really hurts them. I hope they get some more, at least by the 40s. And of course, at the beginning of Black Ice, you got to run through all these different little decisions. So we'll do all these. Reduce neutrality. Not really sure which one of these to go to do. I ran a little bit of a test and I was fine on money. Probably scientific focus, so I can at least try and keep up in technologies with everybody else. At least in the main ones. Uh, I see. Awesome. Since we're just Turkey, we're gonna go with easy. Prefer balance, sane approach. Industry prepares for war, and I'm going to set everybody else's difficulty at normal. I'll make Italy hard. Alright, I mean, laws, mixed industry, definitely have to set that. Oh, and I had looked, I wanted to change. No, leave him. Land build speed. No, I'll leave that. Alright, technology. Real simple, I don't need diplomacy, don't need officers yet. Only need a little bit of spies just to get up to 10 to use them internally. Leaves me with 22. Alright, get the HQ. Technology's first. I know already because I looked last night. Uh, where is it? Brigade strength. Great war analysis. Defensiveness. And the operational doctrines for infantry and artillery. Mountain unit training. Let's see, special forces already have mountain units. Infantry. Engineers, camouflage designs. Artillery. Industry, agriculture, I don't need road network or airports, at least not yet. Supply production, I remember I was running short on energy and steel. So we've got 31. And set production to prioritize upgrades. Uses up everything I've got. I have a little bit of descent. And then Black Ice is going to throw a bunch more events at you on the first day. 
Yes, I want fascist militia, the end of the Great Depression. Now I have some IC to use. What did I want? One with both the build speeds. Light aircraft, diesel engines, and cast armor. Uh... Sure, I'm a small country. I really hate the rebel whack-a-mole. I normally wimp out. I mean, it's not necessarily wimping out. It takes away half your money. Minus 50%. But hopefully revolts are not going to be too much of a problem. Yes, personality. Yes, allow invasions. Opens up some more technology. Let's go single-engine aircraft. Basic aero engine. Got one more. Any of these work for fighter bombers? They do not. There we go. Oh, small icy boost. Creation of battle commanders. Great. Oh, and I had to decide what to build. What was it? I needed four HQs. What else was it that I needed? Engineers. not much to do in the beginning of the game. So sit here and kind of watch it. Oh, what is this, the London Naval Treaty? Nope, Bank for International Settlements. Oh, I forgot it to align. Still mostly towards the axis. It's kind of a bummer. I've got all my IC. No practicals. There's the London Treaty. Now, I'm really looking forward to 8.0 coming out. I like what they, how they're going to change artillery to just be something that gives bonuses <coughs> as opposed to actually necessarily engaging in combat itself. I did have this game crash last night when I tried to unattach a division HQ from a division. So try and avoid that. I'm not, since I put it on easy, I'm not going to sit here and try and min-max this either and, like, get rid of all of my core HQs to bring down my supplies, which, I mean, is one. One IC. So I'm not really concerned about it. Nothing's going to happen for years. Nope, Ethiopia, you're not getting any help. 
How's Italy doing in there? Yep, they've already pretty much taken them over. I don't think it matters. I don't think there's anything that they can do to be saved. Oh, low popularity. Basic mobilization. Weird. All right, these are all going to start finishing. Just drop them with every division that I have. anybody else looking forward to Hearts of Iron 4? Kinda got mixed feelings about it. I really like that they're, they've they added actual equipment to the game. I think that's something that's missing that kinda help, keeps it from being a, a little bit more of a hardcore war game. And they seem to have really dumbed down some other things. I mean, some of this is kind of a micromanagement nightmare with like the Air Force and everything else. So I'm glad that they did that with the kind of like air zones and the equipment. But just, I don't know, some of the other way, they, they seem to have gotten rid of the tech tree entirely. And just gone for, like, decisions that you kind of cast with mana points. Seems a little less cool. I mean, it's more like a EU4 kind of thing. Alright, that's got to go back up to the top. Infantry strength, special forces, militia, what else are we going to use? Artillery, recon units, engineers. Well, about halfway through the first year. Moscow show trials. It's government set. Uh, parliamentary issues. What's my neutrality looking like? Where's that diplomacy? 95%.
one, supply organization, coal pro okay, all of them. Actually, where is that, body armor? Yes. Not gonna have a lot of troops, so I need them to be as tough as they can be. up in the axis, I guess. Yep, still drifting that way. Based. I have a ridiculous number of spies. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that's a bummer. Are there any other operational doctrines I need? I feel pretty stupid. I'm gonna chalk that up to being sick. It's also why I'm sorry I'm not talking very much or saying anything. I haven't been feeling very good, but I really wanted to get this started. That and there's really not a lot going on here at the beginning. There's plenty of uh, Hearts of Iron 4 Let's Plays out there. Or Hearts of Iron 3, sorry. Figure if you're watching it, you pretty much know the game more or less. I really just kind of want to see how it's played. That, like I said, I don't feel very good. Is that going to do anything to my manpower? All of those should be going up. Yep, starting to take it away. Yes, we can. Some hope and change in Turkey.
Nope, still just specialist training. You know, I might as well use that since I don't have very many troops. Does it open up? Yep, there we go. Yeah, jeez. Oh, my recon cavalry has submachine guns, apparently. Flamethrowers. Probably still have an army not unlike the Ottomans' army in the end of World War One. I. I have to do something about that. What was this? Engineer strength. still in that. Oh, first of the year. Still scientific focus, balanced, short term, reduced neutrality, which is at 92%. Why am I building descent? episode may have just ended. It's probably about 25 minutes anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, if it hasn't already, and uh, I'll see you for the next one.